Nào em. What did you drink? I don't know what you got last time. You got the treats. No. Was they here or was they at another store? Over here. Everything's 824 here. This one's right. 797. 1197. Is this? You sure that was it? Yeah. That's a big box. Yeah. Are you sure that's all we need? Huh? I said, are you sure that's all we need? Let's see how the lines look first. Oh, line. okay. I guess customer service. Not really. I'm not going to ask for it unless I have a problem. Here, hold this. Hold this. I gotta get my tax free card out. I guess they must have got rid of Bronson. They went from a good security company to a horrible security company. You said Seven or eleven, seventeen or eighteen dollars. So it's like twenty, it would be twenty dollars. That way I can use my uh, seventeen on my car to get medicine and cigarettes. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Pretty good. 1985? I think I might have 85. No, I don't. No? No, I don't.
Let's see the receipt. I wasn't going to get it on camera, so I'm putting it the opposite way. It's not important. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what? There's a lot of people in the wall. Huh? She's trying to get the wall. I know, that's why I showed her I wasn't recording her. However, I am going to talk to the Signal 88 security. Why? Just to see if security is still here. Is that he over there, that guy's car? Is that security right there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm not sure. That thing's in the cop car. I know. Hey, who's the supervisor right now? For us or for them? For y'all. For us? I'm not sure. We don't actually. Uh, we're not from here, so <laughs> they just brought us up here. Come over here and talk to them. Why is something going on, man? No, 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 no. I just had an issue with one of y'all's, uh, yeah, her. She's not the supervisor, but she's, uh, uh, she knows the supervisor, so she's the one that actually works here in Jackson. I just need to talk to a supervisor. It's not about, she's about something else. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think, I think, uh, I think you actually, me and you actually resolved our issue, I think. What issue? With me recording the Walmart on Hamilton Church that one day. Okay. Yeah. But I just, it's not you, uh, and that's talk to you guys concerning something else at a different Walmart. Oh, which Walmart? With this company. The one over there, uh, Harding Place. Uh, what was the issue? Uh, I don't mind just asking. Well, I mean, the same issue that me and her had. Uh, well, that's, I'm talking that was not on you. Okay. It's, it's, um, they said, um, he can record as long as I record people's faces. Right. But then they said he couldn't, and then they said they could, and then they told us we could say something, and then they said we couldn't. So it's with the Walmart. It's not oh, okay. really with us, but they made it seem like it was us. Yeah. Because yeah. we only do what they tell okay. us to do. Right, exactly, See, and I um, understand that. And I know in Jackson, they told us people aren't allowed to take pictures or at all in the store, so I don't know how it works here because we're from Jackson. So. But see, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, don't worry, I'm not getting it. Regulation oh, you're good. violation. I yeah. mean, a... A privacy violation, but I mean, you can go talk to the manager. I can take you to him. No, 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 I have, I have no problem here. They let me record anytime I come in here. Oh, it was just a different. It was a different store. Yeah, it was you the one. Uh, it was the Walmart on Harding. Yeah, crazy. different yeah. managers but, say different stuff. Yeah, so it's based on that Walmart. It was the same that you have that happened mm -hmm. with you when Metro got called, mm -hmm. and then Metro went in there and told him I'm allowed to do this. And then the other day I went in and recorded and I had no problem. Well, Walmart said you can't do it. This is private property. Well, no, actually, I did some evidence on that. It is privately owned. It's a uh, half and half. Uh, get up the loan, just me speaking. It, I know what you're talking. It's a private company, but it's open. Uh, I got it. Uh, somebody no, got it. No, it's, it's different. And it's uh, when in 2010 when they signed a contract with Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. See something, say something. The federal government gave them funds to promote their say something, see something, say something. Yeah. So when they did that, they signed a contract with the Homeland Security. So technically now they're actually Walmart gets government funds from the federal government. So they're a privately owned organization, but they're publicly traded. I mean, we, ha we have no control over that. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, right. why, that's why I wanted to come in. I was, I'm glad you're here because I wanted to apologize to you for my attitude that day. I didn't want to do okay. that. But, um, that is the issue with it. And okay. I, Metro, when they seen the paperwork from Homeland Security that I showed them, I'm not getting it on Oh, worry. you're good. You already um, <laughs> When uh, I showed them the paperwork and they checked into it with the, with the federal security police, they was like, yes, we're allowed to go in here since it is publicly traded. So. Okay. Uh, we just but, do what they say. But we I, work for them. Yeah, see, I know in Jackson, we had a guy, he was being really weird about it, though. He was taking pictures of, like, the associates and stuff. He was standing by the I self-checkout. Pictures. He was just taking pictures of the associates and stuff. And we were like, what is this guy doing? All right. <laughs> but it turns out he was just a weird guy who takes pictures of people. So, no, I do, so uh, you're good. <laughs> I do First Amendment audits. And I've actually <coughs> called um, a murder here in the parking lot a few weeks back. Yeah, I we actually, actually heard about that. Yeah, I actually oh, called the killer that shot the guy in the head mm -hmm. because I was going to the parking lot like this mm -hmm. and I actually recorded him seeing okay. him shoot the guy. Well, man, we appreciate that. That's, oh, no that's great, man. Yes. We weren't here, but <laughs> that's since evidence we got right here, there, doesn't... we thought... Yeah, they had to use it in court. Yeah, we yeah. thought this was a nice, you know, Walmart. We got here and they were like, they yeah, no up here. It's not bad. It's a bad Walmart. I told my boss, I'm like, you're going to send this up here not packing with anything? No protection. <laughs> 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 no, like I said, that is true. That is true.
they sent us up here because they're training some new folks to come up here. So yeah, we're um, just up here temporarily, and we're going back tomorrow. Okay. But yeah, I was hoping she was here because I did want to do a formal apology to her. Okay. All right. Because well, I she's did. Not supposed to be. She's supposed to already be gone, but she has some problems with her girlfriend. Right. <laughs> because I did get it. I did get an attitude with her at the Walmart, and I didn't mean to do that. And That's I did. Okay. I did want to formally apologize thank you, thank to you for that. that. Everybody thank has you. bad days. I even yeah, went. I even talked to Patrice at the. Uh, uh, loss prevention manager mm -hmm. and I explained the situation she says well can y'all come to agreement I said well if I can find her again I'll apologize <laughs> to her because I didn't know where you went well, there they, for a while well no I um I worked day shift that day I just happened to be doing a devil uh -huh. and so then last week I got promoted to this store like so um they're here to help me out until I get a crew over here but yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad I did. See, I didn't want to make a formal apology you for so you much. for my attitude on that. And I, did, I, I, I do apologize. So okay. Shake Thank hands you. and be friends again. <laughs> but I do apologize for that. It was That's just good. that that whole day I've had an issue. I called a guy getting shot in the head at the Exxon down oh there on uh, in Antioch, right there was uh, Bell Road and something it's else. Cold. So I did a video on that, and the Metro gave me an issue, so I had to call their sergeant. So the sergeant had to explain to them, yes, as long as I don't go past the yellow line, I'm allowed to get up to the car like this and record anything I want. And there was a puddle of blood down there with a the gun that the guy shot the guy in the head with. The co detectives was there, didn't even see it until I showed him my camera to show him where the, where the gun was, because it was under the car. That's terrible. Hey. So with me doing what I do, I kind of help out in a way, but I don't. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've seen videos always, of stuff like people you do on online and stuff. They get y'all get a lot of crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, doing, about the first. Doing. Most people forget the mo uh, First Amendment and everything. It's just. So I'm gonna see. Okay, oh, I will talk to y'all. I will now. talk to y'all later. Right. Nice seeing you again, you and I'm you. glad you accepted my apology. Yeah, <laughs> and y'all guys, y'all be safe and be, be careful out here. Okay. Right, you have a good one. <laughs> you have a nice too. Day, man.